Okay, welcome to Table Talk. We are happy to have you with us today. Today I'm here, Sandy, and with me is Anna, and we are <laughs> glad to be here. We are heavy into the Halloween fall. Yes. Oh, it's been Season. crazy. Mm -hmm. Is, is yeah. this year seem busier than others or just maybe to me? I don't know. It, Life is busier than others, his... don't you think? Yeah, I life know. seems busier for it me is. than other years, but it is. It is. it's fun. It's cool. um, so when this airs, we would have had our first witch's night out. Yes. So. And that's on both Friday and Saturday. Friday right? and Saturday. Yeah. And so it is not going to be <clears throat> this Friday and Saturday, but there will be another witch's night out on the i think it's the 28th 29th yes, yes the last yeah. the last week in so another witch's night out six to ten we'll have specials in the store and just lots of fun so. and then we close early on the 31st yes on yes. halloween we close at 5 right. p.m so okay you can come in and get your your own treats before you start getting treats for the little yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pick yourself some fat some fabric candy <laughs> for yourself so um Let's show a few things we've been working on. Okay. Anna, let's see what you've got. I have kept your, busy. You have been busy. Yeah. Well, you always do. Well, I try. <laughs> There's another buffalo flap quilt that we made. So just and so sweet. Those ones are so quick. Yeah. And it's like, and if you do the straight stitching line, you can quilt it yourself at home and you can and have I love a. That. I think it's just a it's, gift. Yeah. You can probably do it in a day, but yeah. you know, if you don't want to push it, oh, we can't. Yeah. <laughs> but but it's, so it's pretty quick because the way this is pieced, it's not square by square. No, it's just... so. And I do have a leftover strip. I got. It's gonna show you in the end what how I cut it, but. So, yeah. Cute. So. And we've got kits for that. Yep, we do have kits for that. Oops. We have um, and. They are $29.95. You're just going to need the backing and batting. But it's got it's, your front and your binding and your pattern yeah. and all of it. So. What do you use for the backing? Oh, I, yeah, I just, just pick red and white. The red yeah. hat. And you don't have to have, if you're quilting this yourself, you don't have to have more than the width of your fabric, right? Yes, you don't yeah. have to. Yeah. So. That's, yeah, I think. Just the length. I think it's so. 36 by something. So I think even it is, for a yeah. quilter, so, you'll true. have enough. Yeah. So, yeah. But I did this. And then I kind of love this one. Oh, yeah. This one, it's another one that it's pretty quick. It's a uh, knot and threads pile, five quarter pile up. And you just need 12 up quarters and you use pretty much the whole fat quarter yeah. the way you cut it. it. There's almost no waste on this one. I do kind of recommend if you do it by 13 fat quarters because sometimes when you cut your halves, you're kind of mm -hmm. stuck on placing them because you know you cut only three of those, but then you have to place them and it, unless you've if you're not like me who obsesses print stitching, color stitching. <laughs> <It's, laughs> but sometimes it's good to have one extra so you can mm -hmm. mix and match better. But it's And this is just a great autumn I know trope it's, quilt. Just, yeah, that you know. that can go up until Christmas. Yeah. It's ready to go. And I did like a Ooh, I like that. Leaves and acorns. Oh and acorns. I know. It's Let's see that. Oh. It's like here the that's not the best one. This is cooler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you quilt but, this yourself? Yeah, yeah. I use pantograph so Terra will look different and yeah, sure. sometimes they're better than others, but And we have kits for this? Yes, we have kits yeah. for this and really this is also like a weekend project. Yeah. Project. Usually it takes me longer to place Decide. my fabrics <laughs> than to sew it and cut it. Right. It's, yeah. it's kind of funny, but it's true. <laughs> So, what is this one called? Oh, no, we don't. Fat quarter pile up. Yeah, fat quarter pile up. Pattern pile up. by okay. Knot and Spool, right? Knot and Thread. Knot and Thread, sorry. Yeah. And, and thread. then. <laughs> Never to be out done. That's why I only asked hey, Anna I, to be I've here. I've been. My, my family is in school, so. <laughs> you already get that done. Yes. Oh, I my did. goodness. Didn't you just text me yesterday? <laughs> yes. Oh. 
but this was like it's, it's so, so cute. cute i saw it yesterday so i was putting the pictures in the um, panels panels and i saw it and it's like can i can i can i and it's so it's, cute and you have like seats for Ooh. cat and these for dog and it just oh they're it's so, so cute. cute and it's actually fairly easy to make it's the only one confusing part i had it's like the way they were explaining how to stitch this mm -hmm. so i just stitched it i don't know if it's really by the directions or not you know and kids <laughs> love those um those little mm -hmm. flap books yeah and the paper ones that they destroy as soon as you oh yeah <laughs> oh, no. this, this so that's probably so can fun pass yeah and you probably can wash it uh -huh. and maybe just press it and yeah. so it's if so they cute. slabber on it or whatever it still can be usable yep. So how and, did you end up doing the sen the center? Oh, what well, it's just like they were showing that, like on the back has two lines, two lines. Uh -huh. and it was saying page three and four you stitch here and six and seven you stitch here, and I'm like, but you kind of to do that you still have to stitch through three oh, and four or whatever. Yeah. It was just, I think, just the way they phrased it was confusing. So you but just stack it up and then do yep, two lines. Yeah, I do two lines. And I think you do kind of want to do the two lines because if yeah. you do the one when you fold it, it's you're not going to, you know, you have yeah. thickness and that almost creates like a Little bind. Yeah. yeah. And That's it comes cute. with two <gasps> finger puppets. Which, um, <laughs> so cute. I almost didn't do those because it was after midnight. <laughs> I, I stay up until one, <laughs> having fun in my sewing room. <laughs> so cute! But, yep. Yeah, and we have those panels. Yep, we do. And it's well, they last. <laughs> it's it's very cute. It's I, really I cute. love it. That's fun. And then one more thing for me. Yes, one more fabulous. One, I know creation. I guess this month I'm sewing not in thread stuff because yeah. that's her patchwork duffel. Mm -hmm. Mine is not the patchwork. I just did the solid. So cute. But here is the the patchwork version. And it's like it's if you want to make a bag, this one it's pretty easy to go for. It, so it's, cute. The only hard part, and it's not really that hard, you just need to give yourself a slack. It's putting the binding. Oh. But she just did the sew along and has step by step how to do the bag one oh, thing that it's not in the pattern it's these rings mm -hmm. it's just um i put them on just in case if i want to do um oh, a, yeah, strap. a strap yeah because mm -hmm. that's not in the pattern she does have directions on her instagram mm -hmm. And maybe on her blog, but I haven't gone to her blog, so I don't know. But so if you didn't use this, the only hardware or notion you're using is your is zipper. The zipper, which that's that's unusual very for economical. a bag. <laughs> yeah, so that's nice for and yeah. especially for your first bag. You don't do you want to be spending thirty dollars for your hardware? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? No. But, oh, that's yeah. so cute. So yeah, you don't have to use this because the straps are big enough to put it in your shoulder either way. Mm -hmm. So it's really personal. It has and pockets on the side. Yeah, it has ends. pockets on the side. Oh, with her so long, some people did the suitcase sleeve here uh -huh. and they posted videos and stuff. Oh, yeah. But it it's very simple. And it's this is canvas, right? This is that. Uh, yeah, we did the canvas, but you don't yeah. have to. You can, you know, uh, yeah. you can do the patchwork version. You can probably do strips. You, you Cute. know, your imagination is the limit. Yeah. yeah. So love it. I forgot. I'm gonna go grab the other bag that Shelly just finished. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. using that. It's, Let me grab. That. Do we have it's, any interior in this, or it's just like a oh the lining? Finish? I mean pockets. Yeah. yeah, there is lining, but there are no interior pockets. Okay. So, so it's just a simple finish. Yeah. Yeah. And that will be really Shelly nice. just did the sling bag, right? Oh, no, yes. it's I so love cute. this one. It's cute. I, I have to make me one. I, I love that your sister's the green with the stripes. Oh yeah. That was cute too. Uh, so cute. She did the same lining. Yeah. Too. <laughs> yeah. Great minds. This is bag. just a great bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, Emerald's done this bag and Shelly's done that bag. I know. Yeah, yeah, it's my I turn. like her finish. It's yeah, good. it's your turn. <laughs> yeah, it's my turn. turn. <laughs> awesome. Well, let's see. On the table here, we have Robin's finish of 
can't remember the name of this, but Emerald will put this on. Yes. But it's just beautiful. I know. It's beautiful. It is. This is with Sandy Gervais. Um, it's an awesome autumn. I think yes. so. I think awesome. That's what it's called, her collection. So yeah. just a beautiful quilt for fall. And then my big finish. Woo! Yay, it Woo! is. It's just this little cat in the pumpkin, kind of a vintagey looking. Did you design it? I did. It's so cute. And this mm -hmm. is the free pattern that I'm giving away during Witch's Night Out. Oh, cool. So any it's... purchase during Witch's Night Out will get the free so, pattern. Okay, the felt, okay, no. It, it looked different for a yep. moment, yep. and I wonder it's just if you did felt. something to it. But... Just wool felt. And... Oh, your stitching so awesome. Well, and then it'll be like easy enough for people who doesn't really stitch. Like it'll be easy to start. It's it's cause... not really complicated. I mean, I did it last night, but um... I had somebody yesterday asking about embroidery. They wanted mm -hmm. to start, and I'm like, it, I don't think it's necessarily hard. You know, you can get to mm -hmm. uh, stitches which need more, but to start, you really a just need to pick stitch. a pattern and just start yeah. practicing and. It just go for it. And this is wool felt. So we will have some kits for this. And the nice thing about the wool felt is it's easy applique. It doesn't fray, mm -hmm. but it's also for getting started. It's less expensive than your 100% wool. Mm -hmm. So. And I don't know the, the feel it's, mm -hmm. I don't know, or the look, the maybe look, the feel yeah. it's different, but the look doesn't, it's yeah. hard to tell if it's felt or wool. Yeah. It's so I think it turned out cute. Yeah. So that's our free pattern available 28th 29th during mm -hmm. which is night out so and then we will have it for purchase on our website but after after that after, but yeah. if you come in during which is night out um then we'll include that free or how about if you purchase online Just you make an days, online so. purchase in the month of october we will well, include that free pattern okay from now on if you already purchased it's not <laughs> yeah because it wasn't designed until yesterday. Yeah. so <laughs> from the from the time this airs <laughs> till the end of october with any online purchase you'll get that free pattern yeah, so we're not gonna go back and track no, <laughs> no. but yeah. anyway <laughs> so that's oh and then oh that we'll talk about with my ruler oh we have also a cute darling I know. tree skirt it turned out so cute so just a fun patchwork tree skirt that Wendy did. So cute. Um, just some fun Christmas. I love the quilting. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, it is. It is. Yeah. She's got the snowflake background. You know, if one year you were going more monochrome, you could oh, you can do that. reverse it. You yeah. could reverse and do that under your oh, tree. That's... Wow. You know? Yeah. So you could have two different looks, kind of a... Yeah. Or if you get bored yeah. during the season, you can reverse Flip it halfway it through. <laughs> right. So we have kits in the store for this. This is from the book... What's that I new book? Know. Holiday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Emerald will put this on. It's a new book that came out this year. <laughs> um, and it is... I think it's just Happy Holidays, but I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So oh, that's very cute. Yeah, very cute quote. And I don't think it'd be a tough finish either. No. Simple patchwork. And, and what I assume, having mm -hmm. seen the book or the pattern, you probably just do a square with the patchwork and, and then, then you're quilt it and it. then you cut yep. it. Yep, exactly. So, and bind it. So, yeah. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. What are we going to talk about today? Uh, we're talking about rulers. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's start with what's your favorite? Favorite cutting or piecing tools? So favorite or favorite like or the more. most essential? Like if you yeah. were gonna buy yeah. one ruler, someone comes into the store, they say we're just I'm just getting started, so I need a the basics. What do I need, Anna? The basics, I will say it's six and a half or eight and a half by twenty four and a half. Yep. If you only can afford one ruler, this one or the wider version, it's the ones you need. Yeah. And you want the length because your fabric, you know, it's 40 inches and or usually it's folded in half. So you can cut the whole, yeah. a whole strip with this one. If you have a shorter one, you probably have to move it. Yeah. Therefore, you won't be as accurate. 
and but this brand is Creative Grids. Yeah, which, which they're the best, they're the best. I think. But and they have, you can see the dots on the back there. It's a textured mm -hmm. dot, so it helps so your ruler so doesn't grape. slip. It helps to grip. Yeah, just a really good quality ruler. I and like that the lines are fine yes. enough that you, it's accurate. Yes. If you got too fat of lines on your ruler, you're not accurate. And that's another thing. It's like, um, if you, when you're cutting, use your ruler, not your mat. Yeah. If you want to be more accurate. And somebody did say it's like, or you can like, if you're using your mat to cut, use your mat to cut the whole project. Yeah. Or if you, you know, don't switch back and forth because then you really not going to be accurate. But mats do tend to have white, their lines. Yeah. So whenever you place your ruler, you're not always going to be consistent on how yeah. you put it on. But for beginning, you're going to need a rotary cutter, your ruler. And whenever I teach classes or talk to anyone, I keep telling them you cannot sew without a seam, a seam ripper. ripper. <laughs> it's like, I don't care how good you are. It's you're like, gonna need it. you're going to need it. Yep. I even use it like almost like a stiletto, a stiletto. Yeah. Or this, when I do my binding. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, you're going to need a seam ripper. So just, if you go into sewing with that in mind, you'll be fine. Yeah, everybody uses it. Everybody's I know. ripping it's stitches. Like, and for me, it's not even like, oh, bummer, I have to rip. They're saying, like, if you see me with the seam ripper, now it's not a good time. But it's mm -hmm. like, for me, it's part of the process. So yeah. it's not that big of a deal. Just make friends with your mistakes. Yes. You're going to make mistakes. It's, you're going to, yeah, it does. Yeah. And sometimes it's like, it's not necessarily that you made a mistake, but something needs to be changed. Mm -hmm. And, I don't know. It, yeah. It's, it's just it's part of the it's process. Part, yeah. So yeah. that's like, if you only can afford the basics, I it's think three. that that's it. Yeah. And your mat. A mat. Oh, yeah. A 24 by 36 but, but mat. Is, six, yeah. yeah. A 24 by 36 mat the, is that your best is, yeah, the for home. manageable for home. Yeah. When you're cutting out a quilt, that 24 by 36 inch yes. mat. Now, it's, when you're working on blocks and stuff, yeah, you I, can I use have your lots of 18 sorts. by 24 mm -hmm. or even down to this size, depending yeah. on what block you're using. But Yeah, when we go on retreats, we do bring two big mats for sharing cutting, but then I bring my 24 by yeah. 18 for my personal space. Yeah. So, yeah, but it's excellent. Yeah. How about you, Sandy? So this as well, and I really like the two and a half inch. Um, oh, that's what I use. Oh, the, yes. the long one, two and a half. <laughs> the long okay. one that's two and a half inches wide. Yeah. I have that at home. Um, I really like that width, but um, outside of your normal rulers, my favorites are my box. <laughs> if you can afford those, if you can afford it, they're yeah. good. And, and if you can afford all so of them, so this set, yeah, pricey. Yeah, you get the bigger size because the bigger size can cut the smaller sizes. Yep, yep. get you your know, it, it's not six those. and a half. Mm -hmm. So if you can only afford one of the block locks, the six and a half, we've talked about it before, is the go-to for block locks. Yes. Because you can always do smaller. You don't have to have a oh, one wow. and a half. Yes. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know. You know, you know what you do. I so if treated you... myself one yeah. time to this whole set. It's... Don't think I've ever used this one. You know, I've used the two and a half. Oh, the two and know, a half. It's very is a nice common. One. But yeah. no. um, block locks are my favorite. And then we have, I'm going to tell you about a couple other favorite tools. So... Anna, what ruler well, is your, one of your? Fun. I like this one, especially, you know, when you cut small squares and mm -hmm. stuff, it just takes less space on your cutting table. And yeah. so. and it's cute because it's got little, Yeah. what is it that it says? It's quoting cards. Friends. Oh, I, I love my quoting friends. Yep. yep. So, and I think, I, I, I know you can personalize rulers. I don't mm -hmm. know where you go to do it, but I know you can personalize it. Yeah. And. So if you want to give that to your friends, you can do something that mm -hmm. matches your group or something. Sure. Another one, which I have talked about it before, it's this mm -hmm. set of rulers. It's a half inch ruler, which in the middle kind of has the quarter inch line and they come in three sizes. But this like when you drank the lines in your 
have square triangles. You can place that and draw both lines on each side. I like it whenever I need to measure quarter inch on my sewing mm -hmm. machine, I can grab this and use it. I, I have the long ones staying next to my machine. The smaller ones are in my bag that mm -hmm. I grab and go. It's like I, I use them all the time. Yeah. So that's kind of. And then there are specialty rulers for almost everything, everything. you're going to do. There mm -hmm. are rulers for making log cabin blocks. Yes. Um, that help in the accuracy of did how you, it turns out. Did I didn't bring a log cabin block, but I did oh, yeah, bring that up. one. This one here is creative grids and for square and a square. And so you can use that for doing this block here, which is an economy patch or, um, and it just makes your points turn out perfectly. Your, and all the instructions are on the ruler plus Creative Grids, all of their rulers come with a little QR code that you can scan and go to their videos. Yeah. Great videos that show you exactly how to use the ruler, multiple ways to use the ruler. Um, and I find that this ruler, if I'm not foundation paper piecing, then I like the ruler because it just gives me nice, accurate yeah. cuts on my blocks. Like even this one, this basic one has a QR code. Yeah, so even there, yeah this more. is just a basic ruler, but it's got the QR code to go on and learn all about it and all about the different functions of the ruler. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I really have gone and looked at them and they are great. They're great videos. Um, so my next question will be like, because Anna also talked about what are some beginning, and I guess that's also your suggestion for a beginner as well. Um, yeah, I mean, there's just, there's notions are like a quilter's. It's, it's I know. we just all like the stuff. Yeah, you know? <laughs> and like, yeah, you can go as basic and stick with this and you'll mm -hmm. be successful, but yeah. like, why not make your life easier? Yeah, yeah. It's like, I have all sizes it's... of uh scissors yeah yeah oh, exactly. I just like scissors. you don't just need one this. pair of scissors <laughs> and, <laughs> and whenever you need them you never can find exactly. them exactly but... <laughs> exactly these this is just a nice added item this is jen kingwell's and it's just a ruler stand um that you can use by your machine that you just and you probably can have your bobbins bobbins this little tray here um you could even put a magnet in the bottom of this and oh it could be magnetic but so that's a nice little addition to your sewing area, a little stand for your rulers. Um, this is a nice thing to have by your machine when you're just or, trimming off the points mm -hmm. or you're just, you know, yeah. cutting and your half square triangles in half when you're getting yeah, to press them or when, something. When um, you don't want to get up of yep. your sewing machine. Yeah, it's, it's just a nice little, okay. and it's, they're not expensive. They're just, mm -hmm. but it, that's a nice little tool. I think that's why I bought it because it's not expensive. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it isn't. And it's, and it's nice and you can throw it in your bag and it's just nice to have while you're yeah. sewing. So I noticed, it, so is that the hardware you added yeah, to? Yeah, oh, that's okay. the hardware that I added to the bag. So we have And that. it's, yeah, the triangle one and a half hmm. inch. It's yeah. taped. But those are nice. They yeah. are a nice weight to them too. They are, they're very, very nice and professional. It's mm -hmm. like, if you don't tell people you made your back, nobody's gonna know yep. you made your back. Yeah. So, That's yeah. Cool. So um, another favorite, favorite, favorite of mine is this one. Yes. It's Creative Grids Tripology Ruler. It's the Stripology. This one, I, I can say has changed my cutting time dramatically. Can you lay it a little bit? And we can see those details so yeah. you can cut through yep there's these. slots in the ruler that you cut through um creative grids came up with oh i should flip it the other <laughs> way. yeah i was seeing it good yeah but they have like you you know you have like the star it's one and a half inch cuts the square it's two and a half inch cuts so you don't oh, even have to use your brain I'm cells <laughs> well, you know two and a because half plus two and a half it's five you're just like oh i need square so you cut on every square slot 
you know, mm -hmm. and, or if you need one and a half inch strips, you're like, oh, I'm cutting stars. So you just go on each star and you don't have to think about it. So, so this is the large. Yep, yeah, that's the large. This is the, is it say medium? medium or? I think that's the original. Oh, this was just strip oh, stripology I think squared. that was the original. Yeah, I think so too. And then this is the mini. Which I'm tempted to get the mini mm -hmm. because I cut a lot of scraps. Mm -hmm. And you know, when I'm cutting yeah, scraps, they're small true. and I'm, then I have to do the big one. So I'm very yeah. tempted to get the smaller one. And again, but, on this stripology, great QR code gives yeah. so much help in using this ruler. Um, there's patterns written just for the rulers, but it's it's not just, you don't have the pattern have that to. calls for it. Yeah. It's just, yeah. So can you show us? Yes. I can I use that. I can show us how this thing works. I I brought. I need to make some binding, so I brought my bindings to cut. Awesome. I should have brought the other piece. I grabbed the wrong one, but still, I cut in that the same way. So um, usually, the fab, you know, your ruler, it's like only about 13 inches so you have to fold your fabric and you know so this will be folded and then you place your ruler and I depending on my piece I kind of choose or sometimes color a fabric I kind of choose to follow or black or white line but that's me I haven't watched the videos so you know, it's not really so a professional. Got your horizontal lines that you're using to line up with yes. the edge of your fabric. Yeah, your... put my fold mm -hmm. down here. Mm -hmm. So I lined it up. And I like to leave a little bit of piece so I can square it up. Oh, where did we oh, move did I move the oh, I'm Sorry, I moved your no, rubbery cutter. Okay. And then you just get it in your, you know, the, there is a wider spot where your rotary cutter will go. And you just, I don't think this one cut. Keep or just here. it in. There we go. So, and I'm doing two and a half, which is the squares. And you just go, like I said, from square to square. There is no lifting on the ruler, and that's in this piece. That's but all then, yours. And if your rotary cutters. Yeah, it's the work well, it's and different this, mat. This is not my usual, but yeah. so I haven't gotten the feel for so it. Then my table is so higher. Fast. You're not moving but, your ruler, you're not, you're just. Yeah. So you'll get your strips. And then I'll do that one more time for this binding. And so this is a full length strip, so. I'll just make sure my pieces are lining, fold it in half again. And, and you know, like I didn't cut those now, like I said, this is my unusual, so I'm not familiar with the cutting mat, the pressure I need to put, but if it doesn't cut, you just do, you know, press harder. This one's not quite... I, I think the table might be bowing or uh, something yeah. because I can feel it not grabbing the beginning, but. But you see like how quick you just cut your strips. Mm -hmm. And I swear it's better than this. Yeah, <laughs> we're on a mat that we're not used to. We're on a table. Yeah, we're but the mat to. is kind of used to, yeah. but. So I mentioned I brought this from the other quilt. Oh, okay. So that baby quilt I showed you, usually sew strips together and I used this to cut the strips whichever size they were. And after I sewed them, I used my stripology ruler. And with this, I, I don't know if them. you guys know when you're cutting and moving your ruler, it just, even you can mm -hmm. see here, it kind of, uh, it's, it twists yeah, so it it, your line it's not straight. Mm -hmm. So with this one, when you place your ruler, you can cut, depending on your size, you know, you can mm -hmm. cut multiple strips without having to adjust shifting. that. Right. Yeah. So down the same baseline every time you cut, mm -hmm. basically. So 
just you know make sure you I like to you know have my edge even sometimes I'll look in the lines mm -hmm. and it kind of like okay everything kind of looks yeah. more even or if I need to adjust a bit I will and so I think this one we were cutting like three and a half inch strips so you kind of have to count for this one but three and a half and three and a half it's seven and three and a half it's ten and a half and you have your strips cut oh yeah now you got it's, yeah and so cool. and it's so just quick it's like just not lifting the ruler yeah oh i was gonna grab something from the scrap bin to show you that you then know you can cut again and... yeah because when you cut your strips you can um there was a white scrap i did yesterday okay. i think but because you can you know after you cut your strips you mm -hmm. either can readjust your strips or depending on how your cutting table is you can just turn this so you can turn your cut, mat or yeah turn, turn your mat then... depending on yeah. your space oh Is this one yeah okay okay so what if I needed two and a half inch squares? Yeah, I was gonna do one and a half. And oh, okay, yeah. This one kind of not gonna quite do all of them, but again, you need to cut it, uh, fold it to a size mm -hmm. that it will work. So do your strips. And like, you don't always have to start with the, the middle. Mm -hmm. So I will just line it up with a star and make sure that's, so I'll just do the stars. Mm -hmm. But then you can even do it without, you know, without moving anything. Just find a star, line it up. Let's... And then do your stars again. That makes everything so easy. And now you have your squares. All the squares. It's, and it's almost like in no time. Mm -hmm. So Man, now you make me want to buy this today. Yeah, <laughs> I like, I don't know. I don't always like advertise stuff, but when mm -hmm. something I find out it works, yeah. it's like. Yeah, I'm not like a hard sell gal. I'm like, but if I. Yeah. Use something and I. I'm you know. usually minimalist on rulers yeah. because they cost. They're expensive. Yeah. So, I, but taken. this one, I love it. And I ask one year for Christmas. And of course, whatever I ask, I get even after <laughs> Christmas. But my middle name, it's spoiled. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but and look at all this, the squares you cut in that just tiny time. Yeah. So, love, love, love this ruler. So, and again, it comes in that size, this size. Yeah, yeah the mini size is probably my option. And I want to see, and then kitchen table quilting. She just recently posted videos again about on this ruler, mm -hmm. and she uses it to square her squares. Like you can see, there is squares There's markings and, on for doing so that. So she used that, and this one has it too yeah. for squaring up but, your block. Mm -hmm. So it's more than just for strips, but, but yeah, go educate yourself and decide for yourself. But I like, like I said, I don't usually mm -hmm. sell people on products, but I love this one and I'll talk about it. And Wendy wanted to try it. Mm -hmm. And I said, here, take this one home and try it. It's... And I think I started her with this one. And I'm like, if you don't like it, just bring it back. We'll use it in the shop. Mm -hmm she brought this size back and said no i want the biggest one <laughs> <laughs> she really liked it yes. so she liked yeah. it so much she wanted the biggest one so. i yeah it's like in a way sometimes you know like with anything new might take you just a minute mm -hmm. to get used to it but it's not hard to use it's yeah. I, I don't know that's I, awesome i love it so um so last question before we go can we talk about the mat a little bit? Because mm -hmm. the other day I was cutting my fabric and then some 
I don't know, the rotary cutter doesn't work anymore or something. It's just, just not as sharp. And then I asked yes. Robin, she's like, maybe you want to clean your mat. So like, do you guys do that? Or if do you, you don't, I don't, I, I usually do a clean it. It's like if I cut batting and stuff, you know, you always get the little pieces. Yeah. yeah. So with the scraps of batting, I'll get them or even my fabric. When I cut something that it sticks to the mat, I'll get them just like rub it oh. off like that. Mm -hmm. Actually, it'll pull it up. If we there. flip this the other way, I think there was some batting cut on it before. Oh, yeah, I can see it in there. So you just get your fabric and just rub it. And or some people use um eraser, like a big eraser. Uh -huh. and but this is a new product from Gypsy Quilter. Let's try. Oh, let's give this a try. Okay, so I ordered an entire trying and I haven't done it yet. So we're your... doing it on the spot. Oh, oh my goodness. So much better than this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was like, we'll find out if it's a good fail. Well, <laughs> well, it was a success. I know. <laughs> but, that was so easy. Yeah, I've watched you can soak him in your tub. Yeah. With, and I don't remember if it was a soapy water. There's videos out there, but you can soak it in your tub and kind of wash it with a soft sponge and let them dry. But I haven't yeah. done it because it's like, do I really have to go through all the trouble? <laughs> I'm feeling my tub. Yeah. I guess you don't have bed. to. Yeah. You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I guess but, that was kind of like putting ourselves on the spot. But I know, it did but work. it didn't work. So. <laughs> so this is called the heart-shaped mat cleaning pad. <laughs> and it works. Yeah. It pulled up that batting like no problem. Yeah. Because so, batting is one of the worst yes, to get in your mat. It always gets stuck. Yep. I actually have older mats and... If I yeah. remember I'm cutting batting, I will That's switch it. Yeah. But yeah, because it does get stuck in your cuts. But. Any last words of like how you protect it from like getting so it? So if you've got brand new blades, because you've, you've been working with an old blade and you finally oh, go, you're like, I'm going to get a pressure. brand new blade. <laughs> Just know you do not need to put pressure yes. to cut. Because if you do, you're going to be cutting into your mat, and it's not necessary because right now, sharp blades. Right now at work, I'm loving cutting fabric mm -hmm. because I Brand really don't have to put pressure on it. And I can cut through six layers, not yeah. The, yeah. the two I did yeah. previously. <laughs> so, so I probably can cut through more, but, you know. If you've got a sharp blade, it yeah. saves. I yeah. mean, it's just worth it. It saves it's, wear on your mat because you're not having to push so hard to get through. Yes, it's, it's right now it's awesome until it's not. Until but, it's not. <laughs> and it happens but very that, fast. That's what happens at cold stores. Yep. So. <laughs> at home, those last forever. Yeah, I like, I haven't bought a new mat, like probably, I want to say 10 years, but yeah. you know. Do we want to give sure that five. out? Hmm? Do we want to give that away though? Or should we Let's give the, that. the yeah. ruler? Yeah. Let's go give away like one of these. That's so yeah. awesome. Yeah. So this will be our giveaway today because we just tried it. Yeah. It really yeah. works. It works. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we will be giving this away. Just comment. What's the must-have ruler for you? What is your ruler that is your must-have that you use all the time? You take on the trip yeah. or anything. Anyway, so post a comment and we will be giving away... To the winner that we draw one of these mat cleaning pads yeah. <laughs> oh. okay because it works I know. <laughs> yeah we we don't give stuff to those <laughs> that's right <laughs> no, we keep it first <laughs> so that's kind of cool yeah all right um, so thank you for joining us for table talk thank you anna for oh, demonstrating for us and for anytime all your help <laughs> and we will see you next week mm -hmm.